Greetings everyone, my name is Storm and today I'm going to be showing you how to get the COD4 multiplayer back up online and working. Now, uh, this fixes the problem where it says uh, your uh, punk buster is disabled whenever you go into the game, or it shows no servers, well this is the fix for that. So as you can see, we're in the server list now and there is no servers working, go to refresh and there's nothing there. So uh, before you uh, leave, all you want to do is just go into the options and go into the multiplayer options and make sure Punkbuster is enabled and set to yes and also allow downloading is set to yes. Okay, so first up, you want to find out where your Call of Duty 4 folder is installed. If you bought it from Steam, then it will be Program Files x86. I have mine installed onto another drive, um, but yours will be Program Files x86, Steam, Steam Apps, Common, and then Call of Duty 4. If you bought it from a shop or from a disc, then it will be um, x86 or Activision or Program Files Activision. Platform. You're going to want to delete uh, the PB folder. You can make a copy of it if you want, just to be safe, and also the server cache folder. After this, you want to go ahead and proceed to the links in the description. Here you will find versions for an older version of Punkbuster that supports COD4, because the new one doesn't, and also a link to a new server cache which allows you to uh, show all the different servers. You're going to want to go ahead and download both of these. Extract the zip file to the desktop first, open it up and extract, and extract the COD4 PB uh, folder that's inside it. You will see and find that there is another PB folder inside that. Um, you basically just want to go ahead and paste that into your Call of Duty 4 folder, uh, wherever you have that installed. Uh, then do the same for the server cache folder. Once you have pasted the folder into the Call of Duty 4 uh, directory, then you want to go ahead and open up the PB folder and run the program called uh, punkbuster.exe or something like that. You will see that COD4 is listed in there, you just want to go ahead and click on COD4 and click uh, remove game and then click add game, find COD4 in the drop down folder uh, and then you will now see that the client and the server version is showing uh, because it wasn't before. You can now go ahead and um, exit out of that and all we need to do now is paste in the server cache we downloaded earlier. Do take note that if there are any instances where the servers don't come up or anything, then, you know, just reinstall the server cache. Make sure you jot down any names of the servers that you like to play on most, because um, putting them into the server cache again will delete all of your favorites. So make sure you jot down the names of them before you do this. But that will fix the majority of your problems. Now let's jump into Call of Duty 4 and do the final step before proceeding to an online game. Upon launching into the multiplayer version of the game, then you will be presently surprised when you go into the server menu. You will see that there are loads and loads of beautiful coloured servers. Now the final step that you have to do now is just go into the filter menu. View empty must be set to no, view full must be set to yes, with password is no, dedicated only is no, mods is no, and the rest is all. Yet another note is if you want to play with mods, then uh, you can always change that to yes, um, but now it should be working, uh, as you can see, um, and also if you want to join, say, like a prop punt server, there is a site called Game Tracker, um, I'll leave the link to it in the description, where you can play hide and seek, you can play all these modded servers and stuff, uh, and have a real good laugh with all your mates. Alright, let's jump into a game. Alright, we are now in. It does appear that we have joined an empty game, which is annoying. Um, but, yep, it works. If any of you have any problems, then do just hit me up in the comments and I'll get straight back to you and try and help you out as best I can. But anyway, guys, hope this tutorial helped. If it did, because I helped you out, can you help me out by leaving a like and subscribing to my channel? Check out some other stuff that I've done in the past, like uh, PC builds and stuff. If you're into PC gaming, then that's the kind of stuff for you. My name's Dom, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye!